Weather ripped through the northern part of the state last night, leaving by some some damage quite a bit behind. In fact, for some today, crews were very busy cleaning up the quiet corner where it was anything but quiet this afternoon. Our early warning meteorologist Connor Lewis is joining us right now from Dayville in Wyndham County with more on the damage there. Connor. Yeah, Mark, thunderstorms ripped through last night and it took down a couple of trees. One is right behind me. Cleanup crews already took care of the tree, but you can see that's the one that cracked in half and it crushed this Volkswagen Beetle. Obviously here at the wrong place at the wrong time. Fortunately, no people were in it, so there was no damage, but it almost looks like it was made out of plastic. It's just completely crumpled and lots of broken glass, so all the glass got smashed out. And yeah, it's going to be... Um, you know, no car expert, but that thing does not look like it's going to be drivable, drivable anytime soon. And also, it ripped down that same tree, did cause some more damage. You can see that tree limb up there. That got ripped down. And while we did see a lot of damage out here, there's no indications that there was any tornado damage. So NWS is not coming out here for any tornado survey, nothing like that. Uh, also, a lot of folks out here do not have any basements. So it was a scary situation for folks out here. And whenever there's a situation where you don't have a basement, you want to be in the interior of your home for those severe thunderstorms, uh, and especially so for any tornado emergencies like a tornado warning. So that same tree knocked down a power line, and that power line ripped down this power, uh, this, this pole right here. And that resulted in this house right over here losing power. So kind of an isolated event. And again, fortunately, there was no... Uh, Kind of a busy road over here. Fortunately, there was no cars uh, that got hit by the falling debris. So hopefully everyone was uh, indoors while this was all going on. We caught up with someone that was here during the storms last night. Terrible car like that. That's, you know, that's too bad. But there's no, nothing you can do. It, uh, too bad it didn't hit somewhere else. But uh, that car is really a mess. Feeling good outside right now, 87 degrees, great in the shade, great by Alexander Lake in a beautiful spot in Connecticut. For now, I'm live in Dayville. Carl Lewis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.